All right, hi everyone. Uh, it's Mr. Twenty Eight here. We'll see how long this goes. Obviously, you can see I'm um, back to the uh, old way I used to do videos. Uh, this phone is driving me absolutely nuts. That's just one of the things that's driving me nuts. Uh, we're in 16 seconds now. Uh, I I just I can't even I can't even quantify my frustration. How 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 pissed off I am about uh, a lot. Uh, you know what happened with my mother. This 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 faulty contact contract agreement that is really making me angry. The more time goes by, I'm gonna, I'm going to be very very honest with you with that. This phone shutting down over and over again. It just all all it feels like. It it just feels like the hits keep coming over and over and over again. Uh, quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of waiting for this uh, GTA 6. I'm happy to support it. You know, the concepts and everything like that. My mother, I don't know how she's going to be tonight. Uh, it, it, it's like, she is, you don't know, you don't, you don't know what to expect with her. It seems like every time she stays home, because she's staying home tomorrow, she's got an off day. Every time she works a little harder, but she has a double, she has PM and Cerberus, so a morning and afternoon shift, the 6.30, 9.30, 11.30, 7.30. So she, she does a double. Almost every time that she does, does this, it's like she can't handle it. And if she works a little too hard... If things come a little become frustrating, frustrating for her, it triggers her anxiety, and in which in turn triggers her psychosis. And she has an episode. She'll sit in my car, my Scion, talk to herself. You know, you, you already know this. It's beating a dead horse at this point. I mean, it really, really is how long I've, I've been dealing with this. And then she'll come home, rip the seatbelt off, go in the bathroom, you know, take it out on the air. Uh, and sometimes sometimes she won't get in there quick enough, so if she doesn't, I'll actually get a taste of the, her little outburst. Like last night, the night before, and she said, what did she say? Shut the fuck up. And something like that, which is par for the course, because she's done much worse. Even though she doesn't do the outburst anymore, you know, uh, it's just sickening. It really is sickening, and, and it's tearing me apart, and, you know, it will kill me. It will kill me, and I will die from a heart attack from all this stress. I got my left eye right here. Uh, you probably can't see it, but it's fluttering a little bit. I've had some eye twitching the last few days. Uh, eye twitching is from stress, but it's also for a number of other reasons. Uh, it's called a fasciculation. And I do apologize if I pronounce that word. Essential fasciculation, which means it's a twitch. It's a fancy word for saying a twitch. But uh, you can also uh, have benign essential blepharoidism. I do apologize, I'm saying that last part wrong, but it's basically essential, meaning it, it's like, it's a it's a general twitch in, in the eye. They can happen in the eyelid, they can happen in the eyelid. Uh, you can have a few other eye, eye problems. I do recommend if you have a problem like that, uh, you do reach out to your optom optometrist, excuse me, which is an eye doctor. Uh, by the way, I just wanted, I guess I'll just say the three differences between an ophthalmologist optician and an optometrist. Optician helps to fit your glasses and gets you know the right prescription. Optometrist uh, treats and diagnoses eye problems and ophthalmologist performs eye surgery. So that's the difference between all three of those. Uh, I haven't seen one. I haven't seen a doctor in a lot. I, I, I can't even look. I can't even worry about myself. I have no life. My mother's got no license. So I drive her around, you know, scioning as you hear me say in my journal entries, which by the way, I got more of those up. Thank you for supporting that, looking at that, concepts from GTA 6. I'm hitting the ground running, I'm busting my balls, you know, to uh, uh, hopefully, you know, get pain here, the reward. That, that, that just, it does. When I think about that, and I think that I actually paid someone, and the fact that a bank account ex was, a bank account was open specifically for that, and that money was accepted, that, that's not a joke. Someone has my money, okay? And this... This whole thing is unfulfilled. It's a breach of contract as far as I'm concerned. Because it was done Western Union and it was done in the U.S. So it was on American grounds. American, you know, American soil. And so, you know, it's just killing me slowly. It really, really is. I, I just, humans can only take so much. Like the song goes, I'm only human. Uh, you know, so I'll be picking up my mother at 7.30. Uh, you know, this, this phone is driving me absolutely nuts. Uh, it'll do boot looping. Basically, the battery's bad. Uh, the charging port's probably bad. I've dropped it a few times. It's chipped. 
It's got scratches. Uh, it's got no water damage. I haven't seen anything on the screen that would suggest that. You know, discoloration, uh, spots, anything like that. The battery's got to get changed. I got a battery here and a nice fix it kit. Don't mind my cat. She's in heat. Uh, but I don't know how to do it, you know, and, and there's associated risks with that. You know, the battery's not bulging or anything like that. The phone's not warped. The battery is shot to crap. Uh, it's 50% capacity, and I, I just want to do it, but it's like, I, I don't want to do it because I don't want to, you know, because you got to put a suction cup on the screen, pull the screen up, take a, uh, uh, tool, basically slice the, uh, base of the phone, open it like a book, Watch out for the ribbon cables. You got to discontinue, you know, unscrew. Uh, there's a few screws, you know, a few. You got to watch out for the logic board. You got to be careful because the battery's got adhesive on it. Tape, you got to be careful extracting the tape. You also got to be careful extracting the battery. Because if you don't, it's a lithium ion battery and it'll explode and start a really bad fire. Purple, fl uh, blue flames. Not pretty. I'm surprised this phone's still staying on. We're at 608. Uh, I'm using my uh, front facing camera, so you'll notice. That's why there's a little bit more noise here, but it works. You know, at least I'm actually freaking getting to record a video, and I can see how long I'm recording that video. But I'm just totally fed up with everything. But at the same time, I got 282 subscribers here on YouTube. I also do stuff on Instagram. I don't know what to expect with her tonight, but I'm. It just it just upsets me so freaking much that a medium took advantage of her. She thinks the devil chases her. She, you know, it's bad. Okay, it, it's freaking bad. If anybody out there has a loved one that, you know, uh, has a psychological problem, please, please, please get them help. Don't have them, you know, get uh, addicted to psychic mediums, addicted to substance or drugs or alcohol or anything like that. Get them help. You know, get in, get in, stay in their lives, help them out so you don't have to deal with the crap I'm dealing with and you're wondering almost every day who your parent's going to be. And, you know, you have a parent who wants to drive, but you know, as a son or daughter, they don't have the mental capacity to drive. And you don't want them totaling your car because you don't have insurance on that car. And, then you know, I'm worried about this woman every day. She, uh, there's a lot of gastric problems her side of the family. My grandmother's had gastric problems. My aunt uh, has had, one of my, my other aunt, not my aunt Patty, my aunt Sherry, uh, has had sciatica, fibromyalgia. So... Uh, she's got, my mother's got a lot. She's got sciatica. She's got uh, arthritis. She's got something called piles. It's a uh, hemorrhoid. Uh, very, very painful. You know, you get basically pimples on the inner and outside of your, uh, your, blup, your buttocks around that area. It's not fun at all. My mother gets that a lot. And sorry for my language, but you know, when, when she gets this stuff, it pisses her off so much that it gets her riled up. She gets anxiety and then she goes totally psychotic goes into an episode, starts talking about, doesn't make any sense at all. She's very addicted to God and Jesus and religion. And mind you, there is a correlation between mental illness and, and religion, okay? Whether you'd like to admit that or not, it, it, it is what it is, okay? If you can't go to church, if you have to go to church, you get out of church and, you get, and you're so pissed off, you can't even focus, maybe you shouldn't be in church to begin with, Okay? Maybe you shouldn't be in church to begin with. Church isn't supposed to be a thing where you're talking about the devil 100% of the time. You talk about the Lord. You talk about Scripture. You know, Corinthians, Joel, whatever the case is. I mean, at least if, at least you go to a Catholic one. Catholic, you know, is very, very structured. You know, you got tithes. You give money to the Lord. You sit in the pew. You read. People worship. You know, sing. The Father will say, and on such such day, God says, praise the Lord, processional, recessional, service is none. But my mother's church, uh, with this guy, Pastor Sean, who was her pastor, uh, this, 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 this guy, this guy ain't, you know, doesn't sit right with me. Uh, he brainwashes my mother, he basically says the devil's chasing her, the evil one, all this crap, and it gets in my mother's head, and it, and it, and again, I'm sorry for the word, but it fucks her up real bad. And, you know, she, uh, she, she can't even focus. She gets so absorbed by this stuff. I hear Satan, the, all I hear about is Satan the devil. I, I don't even know what life is anymore. All she does is work, which is wonderful. Okay, she works, she loves her job, loves it, loves it, loves it. Then if she's not working, she doesn't know what to do with herself. She'll blare scripture all day long. You know, she, she loses sight of reality if she's not in a church or in a place where God and Jesus are around. 
But in, in God, Jesus is around anyway, so I'm not even going to go crazy with that. Uh, but yeah, she, she, uh, I worry about her. I think she does need a guardian. I can't do any of that, which is why I'm trying to do all this so I get paid a significant amount of money so I can take care of all the BS that problems that shouldn't have been problems in the first place, including damage to this house, and that hasn't happened. Instead, I've just been fucked around completely. And people are on the internet just hiding. I, I, I know the person who I'm talking with. I, I know I do. And in fact, it, it, it got so bad to the point, the person I was talking with on Discord, I said, look, you know, uh, you know, thanks for your time. I, I wish you the best of luck. I, I just was, was a straight shooter. I said, I said what I said. I'm upset about this. You know, uh, I can't do this anymore. I can't do these head games. It's been a, it's been a long time for GTA 6, you know, uh, and... It really, this this thing has gone on for over a decade. Either 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 release it or, or you don't. I mean, there's concepts all over the place, and they're wonderful. They're they're great. I support the artists. You all do great. Nova artist, you know, uh, Grand Dot Theft Auto, uh, Six Official, Instagram, uh, Eminem three uh, three four five three four five uh, Video Tech or Ben. You do you do a hell of a job. Uh, Tez, you do a great job. You know, even Mr. Boss for the win or Rod. Uh, James Hodkins, you know, even, you know, I credit you because you've been in the, you've been doing this stuff for years. I'm a little guy, you know, uh, I, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I hate to swear so much. I really do. So please forgive me. I've been through the shit and I'm thinking because I have been through so much shit, I, you know, I should, I think I've earned what I've earned, which is a $10 million check, which didn't come to me or 0.5% revenue on, on sales of a, popular game it's upset me so much it, it, it it's really really it, it's torn into me it's affected me and i don't appreciate it but it is it, again it is what it is so i'll be picking her up it's uh 444 right now 1644 uh, my journal entries i do them a little differently now or journals uh i'm trying to consolidate them so i'm not throwing so much information at you so what i do is a beginning middle and end morning afternoon evening I'll let you know what my mother's doing, her two updates. As you know, she's got two updates at work. Uh, one is a lunch break. One is a 15-minute break before she goes in the dining room, uh, gets caddies, gets drinks ready for the residents there in the dining room before she clocks out at 7.30, usually. Um, and then everything in between. This this is Project Alive. You know, I am... Um, okay, trailer two coming later this year. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, yeah, that just came up. I, I don't believe any of that. I, I just don't. This is such a head game now at, at this point. It really, really is. I busted, I busted my butt doing all this. And I hope people are taking notice. I hope Rockstar's taking notice. You know, this, this, this stuff isn't easy, okay? Journaling your whole life, basically turning your life into a video. That's what this is, you know? I just don't have a watermark that says Project Alive or, you know, um, ESRB label watermark that says Mature. You know, like it's a trailer for a game. I could do that, but this phone sucks so bad I can't hardly I can hardly do anything with it. I can't open apps. The apps will freeze. Uh, the screen will black out, and it's a god. It's a freaking miracle. This thing is this video is still recording, but it's probably because my phone's in such a position right now that the charging port's not getting uh, aggravated because the charging port's all screwed up. It wiggles, uh, and the battery. The battery's fifty percent. Your battery is at eighty percent. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta change it out, or take it to Apple, or take it to a repair shop. I'm just taking hit after hit, and I just think I'm killing myself slowly. I, I really do. I don't like to say that, but you know, my father died at fifty. His uncle Bobby died at forty-two from brain cancer. My grandmother, on my father's side, died at seventy-six. His father died at sixty-six. My uncle uh, down in Mass, the bottom of his heart wasn't working. He had a heart attack. Uh, another one of my aunts on his side had just recently had a heart attack in July. So there you go. You know, you got to get serious with your health. One thing I've said, you don't take life seriously, life's going to make you take it seriously. But I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. We're at 14.30, uh, 14 minutes, 30 seconds. Appreciate all the support. I'm Aaron Fowler, CEO of 28 Games. I am crazy, ambitious, clearly historic. And that is my tagline. I'll be well, be safe, be about your ambition, hug your loved ones always. Okay, you know what the best yet to come is crappy as it may be and it does get really really crappy you know it's 2025 almost i can't believe it you know uh the year that thought would never be here it's here it's coming uh coming full steam ahead 
More on the way for me. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Take care.